Hey guys, Randy here, coming up with another fidget spinner review. And what I have here in this little container is what I consider the world's most dangerous fidget spinner ever created. And it's not because it has points or blades or is a weapon, a physical weapon of any kind. It's much more dangerous than that. It is a symbol and it is an idea it is a point of view and so hopefully you will keep an open mind when i show you this fidget spinner because it is very controversial and it's not the kind of spinner i would be carrying around in the united states in the open <laughs> because of what it the symbol it represents and uh so i just before i show you the spinner or show you the spinner and a little bit of documentation or information from Wikipedia. So hopefully you'll keep an open mind and just kind of follow along and see how a, a symbol can go from good to bad in the blink of an eye. This is a little bit out of my normal, I uh, guess, purview. My point of, not point of view, my, uh, <laughs> my comfort zone. This is actually out of my comfort zone, but I, I saw this fidget spinner for sale and I thought that's amazing that someone would make one in the shape of a swastika but then I started thinking about swastikas in general and wanted to know where the origin of a swastika came from and it turns out it's, it has a pretty long history according to Wikipedia some of the earliest signs or carvings of swastikas were 13,000 years ago it's only in the modern age that the Nazi party and Hitler in particular took what was a ancient religious symbol of ah, goodness I guess <laughs> auspiciousness uh, see like the name swastika comes from the Sanskrit and denotes a conduct conducive to well-being or auspicious and that the swastika has been used for literally thousands and thousands of years in all different cultures all the way from uh, ancient I guess that we say that gets considered ancient man 13,000 years ago through the Romans through the all through Asia the, uh, the Indian culture the Chinese culture the uh, the Japanese use it it's still used in other parts of the world as a symbol of I guess goodness <laughs> it is a, a, a good symbol in other countries except for the United States and I'm sure most of Europe uh, because of the world war the world war with Hitler and how it became a a symbol of terror and repression and murder <laughs> so uh, it, it's amazing to me how the swastik has such a, a long history of greatness and good luck and and good tidings and then it is corrupted for the use of terror and genocide by another group but you can see all these symbols versions of the swastika throughout time and history see it's uh, adopted as a standard a standard character in sanskrit uh, in chinese script in eastern Anglo eastern Asian languages the origin see it's you got ancient Roman tiles had the swastika in it see the mosaic in Byzantine in a Byzantine church had a swastika in it. and today there's still places in the world where the swastika is still a, a good sign not a bad sign and not a sign of evil see I see petroglyphs with swastikas. I mean, it didn't start out as a religious symbol. It was more of just a pattern. It was. It may have been an idea. Uh, let me scroll down here to the bottom, to where even even the United States in the 1930s had swastikas as good symbols. And in particular, I wanted to scroll down here, way down here. So you see, it's got a huge, huge, huge history from it's just been around for so long it's just been corrupted in the the eyes of 
the United the people of the United States and like I said parts of Europe because because of the way it was used to suppress, kill, and ter uh, terrorize people. And let's see, where is it down here? Let's see, Latvian Air Force had a swastika. And like this, here's the one I want to show you. This was the symbol for the 45th Infantry, Infantry Division in the United States. And if I can find the uh, the actual, here it is, a symbol. The symbol for the 45th Infantry of the United States before the 1930s with a red square with a yellow swastika, a tribute to the large Native American population in the southwestern United States. So at one point in our U.S. history, the swastika was a good symbol and not a symbol of evil. And so it's all a matter of your point of view when you look at this symbol. It, it is just a symbol. It's an idea. And I don't know, it, it bothers me. <laughs> so how something like that, which was a symbol of good, became such a symbol of horror. Anyway, I hope you don't mind me uh, putting up this video. I just thought it was a, a very interesting thing to think about. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> Hopefully you all took this with the, the, the spirit I send it out, and that's a spirit of just looking at the world in a different way and how the world interprets a symbol in different ways. And I will definitely never, ever be bringing this this uh, swastika fidget spinner out of the house. It'll go into a box someplace, and <laughs> I may even throw it away because... There's just no way I could, that anyone would find that symbol acceptable in the United States at this point in history. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you got a little bit out of this. And if you would, uh, leave me a comment below how you feel about the symbol of the swastika in your country. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll talk to you later.